You are listening to part 14 of the podcast series, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. The 14th law of leadership is the law of buy-in, B-U-Y, buy-in. The law of buy-in says people buy into the leader, then the vision. Most people go throughout life without the dream or the vision. So they have to find the leader that has a dream or a vision that's compatible with them. But in staying long enough to find out what the leader's dream is and what the vision of that leader is and where that leader is taking them, they also realize, I've got to buy into this person. I've got to like them. If I'm going to take a journey with them, I've got to relate to them. I've got to connect with them. They have to like me. They have to believe in me. They have to relate and connect with me. So the law of buy-in is absolutely huge because what we have to understand is that our job as a leader isn't to sell the dream first. Our job as a leader is to sell ourselves first. And with the selling of ourselves and the connecting with people, they connect with the dream. Again, how do I take the vision from me to we? The law of buy-in. If they buy into you, it will soon be their vision, not just your vision. The question is not only do I have a clear vision. The question that I need to ask is, do I love my people? Do I enjoy being around them? Do I have a good relationship with them? Do they love me? Do they enjoy being around me? Is it a good time when we're together? Because the leader, again, understands in the law of buy-in, there has to be the human connection before you can take them to a higher level. I want to share with you, what is the process that helps people buy into you as a leader and then buy into your vision? Number one, the people, the people see the problem. In other words, there's a need that people sense and feel and and understand, and they say, oh my goodness, we have a need or we have a problem. That's the first step to the buy-in process. There's just what I call the obvious need or the obvious problem, step one. Step two, the leader sees the problem and the potential. Now, that's what distinguishes the leader from the follower. The follower sees the problem. In fact, the follower is frustrated and basically has no answers and basically thinks that his or her hands are tied. And so they're frustrated with the problem, but the leader sees the problem, but the leader also sees the potential. That's what makes a leader. Remember, leaders are dealers in hope. Where most people see the dead end street, they see more than the dead end street. So one is the obvious need that there's a problem. Secondly, there's a leader who sees not only the problem, but the potential Third, the leader has a plan. Now, this plan usually is a vision, but it's a plan. They not only see the problem, but they've got a plan on how to fix it. And in seeing this problem and seeing this plan how to fix it, remember, now they are beginning to be what I call tangible dealers in hope. It's one thing just to get up and say, it's going to be a better day. It's another thing to get up and say, it's going to be a better day, and here's why, and lay out a plan. One statement gives people hope for the moment. The second statement energizes and empowers them for the long run. So, there's a problem that's obvious. There's a a leader who sees the problem but also sees the potential. And that same leader, thirdly, develops a plan of how this problem can be solved. Number four, the leader believes in the people. As we studied in the law of buy-in that you have to buy into the people before you buy into the vision. And by the way, that's two ways. The people have to buy into the leader before they buy in the vision, and the leader has to buy into the people before he or she can get them to buy in the vision. There's a buy-in on both sides. So this leader not only sees the problem, sees the potential, has the plan, but has bought into the people, which brings us to step number five, the leader believes in the future. Not only does the leader believe in in, in the people, the leader believes in the future, and basically, again, has great expectation of what tomorrow will bring. And step number six, the leader shares this belief with the people. In other words, the leader gathers people around and says, let me tell you what I think can happen. Here's the plan. Here's what I believe is going to happen. Which brings us to step number seven, the people believe in the leader's belief. When you truly have the law of buy-in as a leader, you don't need to ask the people. They'll start coming forth and they'll start giving you that buy-in. You'll know it because the people will share it.